Hi again guys. For the next three lessons we will be talking about the carbon cycle. In the first video we're going to be talking about the carbon cycle between the atmosphere and the biosphere. In the second video we're going to be talking about the carbon cycle between the atmosphere and the oceans. And in the third video we're going to be talking about the carbon cycle between the atmosphere and the lithosphere. Just to clarify, these are carbon cycles. Uh, that means uh, no carbon, no extra carbon is actually being uh, emitted into the atmosphere because any a carbon being emitted into the atmosphere is also returning back to its source again. For example, uh, carbon dioxide leaving the ocean uh, leaves the ocean, 90 gigatons of carbon leaves the ocean per year. But then in that same year, 90 gigatons goes back into the ocean again. The same is for the biosphere. 120 gigatons of carbon leaves the biosphere to go into the atmosphere. But in that same year, 120 gigatons goes back into the biosphere again. So there's no actual net gain to the atmosphere and that's the same for the lithosphere as well. So to put it another way, the carbon cycles don't actually add any carbon to the atmosphere, they just recycle it through the atmosphere and all the three different carbon cycles here recycle the carbon through the atmosphere. By comparison, humans through burning fossil fuels emit about a seven gigatons per year into the atmosphere and through the process of deforestation as well humans also emit about two gigatons of uh, carbon into the atmosphere uh, per year. About half of the emissions which humans emit into the atmosphere stay in the atmosphere. The other half gets absorbed by the ocean and the biosphere. So about half the emissions we emit actually add to the amount of carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. Okay, just before I start talking about the carbon cycle between the biosphere and the atmosphere, I just want to talk about trees a little bit really and hopefully uh, you'll get a little bit of a better idea of what carbon does. Here's a picture of um, an oak sapling, a, a baby oak tree. This is the acorn and you can see the, the small oak tree growing out of it. And here is a picture of it growing out of the ground. And here it is, it's grown a little bit more and a little bit bigger. So here it is, it's about bush size now and that's better it's actually starting to look like a a proper oak tree now and here's a a young mature oak tree it's even grown some more and it's grown a little bit more and uh, here's a fully mature oak tree a nearly fully grown and this is the fully grown oak tree so you can see, you know, it's it's really grown a lot from that, from the little baby tree which was which was coming out of the acorn, and now we have this like huge oak tree. Now, if you could, or if somebody could hang around for long enough and watch an oak tree grow, for example, this one grow from from when it was a a little tree growing out of an acorn to a fully sized tree like here. That person would probably imagine that the tree is growing out of the ground and um, that's not really what's happening. Both the leaves and the the wood of the tree don't actually come from the ground. They actually come from the air. You see the wood and the leaves are mainly made from carbon and water. What happens is carbon dioxide in the air gets breathed by the leaves, the sun shines on the leaves and through photosynthesis it separates 
the carbon and the oxygen. It throws the oxygen out into the air again, and that's what we breathe, yeah, but it keeps the carbon, and it uses the carbon to grow. So that's where part of the, the, uh, the tree comes from, the carbon part of the tree comes from. The other part of the tree is water. And in a way, you, you know, I mean, rain comes from the air, really, doesn't it? Rain comes from the sky. So that's why I, I, I'm telling you that trees don't actually grow out of the ground. They grow out of the air. Sure, perhaps a few minerals and things like that come from the ground. But the bulk of the tree, uh, you know, 99.9% .9 of the tree, actually grows out of the air and not out of the ground. OK, let's start talking about the terrestrial carbon cycle. The terrestrial carbon cycle, that's the same as the carbon cycle between the biosphere, our plants and soil, etc., and the atmosphere. The story really starts with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That carbon dioxide in the atmosphere um, makes plants grow in fact, the plants are made of the carbon uh, which is, comes from the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere. That's what actually makes the plants grow. The plants are the actual carbon from the atmosphere. So the plants grow. You know, they can grow and then some plants will grow into big trees and that perhaps the tree will then die. And when the tree dies, a bacteria, you know, the bacteria, uh, will eat the tree and the bacteria will respire or will breathe out carbon dioxide and that carbon dioxide will go back into the atmosphere again. So that's a cycle here. You can also just think of the, the leaves as well. For example, the carbon dioxide makes the leaves grow. Uh, the, the leaves in the wintertime fall to the ground only to be eaten by the bacteria uh, the bacteria when they eat the leaves they take the carbon and they breathe it out as carbon dioxide again which goes back into the atmosphere so that's uh, one of the cycles uh, within the, the uh, terrestrial carbon cycle now there are an infinite different variations of this carbon cycle between the biosphere and the atmosphere for example after the, the leaves grow you no. Know, animals or a rabbit or something like this could eat the leaves um, that would make the rabbit grow so you know and the rabbit is growing because it's it's growing because of the carbon uh, which is it's eating and the carbon is what it is made of basically carbon and water then you know the rabbit or the animal can grow old yes I, for example, if it was a cow eating these leaves, the cow would grow, it would grow old, and then the cow would die. And then perhaps the b bacteria would eat the cow if something else didn't eat the cow first. The bacteria would eat the cow, and the bacteria would then breathe out the, c the carbon in the form of carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere again. So once again, well, we have a complete carbon cycle here. Yes, another variation might be the um, carbon dioxide makes the leaves grow, the leaves are eaten by the animals, and then the animals breathe out carbon dioxide, which goes back into the atmosphere. Or uh, perhaps another variation is um, we eat the animals, humans eat the animals, then when, you know, then after we've eaten the animals, we breathe out carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere again. One variation which isn't shown here is poo, for example, cow poo. Let's have a quick look at that carbon cycle. So the, the carbon from the atmosphere goes to make the plants and then, for example, the cow uh, eats plants or let's say the deer eats plants and then the deer poos and the poo goes on the ground and the bacteria they start eating all the poo and then bacteria breathe out the carbon from the poo yes, into the atmosphere. So that's a, another cycle as well. So basically any living or organic matter, you can look at it 
and you should just try to imagine it as part of the carbon cycle. So, you know, the next time you look out the window and you see a tree, yes, try, try to imagine the next step in the carbon cycle from that tree. And the next step is, the, for example, the tree dies, then the bacteria eat that tree, and the bacteria um, then breathe out the carbon from that tree into the atmosphere. So next time you're walking around or anything like this, just have a look around you, and you know the, the carbon cycle is happening all around us all the time. Once again, uh, an important message of this video is that the carbon is just recycled no extra carbon goes into the atmosphere. The amount of carbon in the atmosphere should stay roughly the same. Okay, see you next video. Uh, next video we're going to be talking about the ocean carbon cycles.